So let's talk about Drew Locke. If you didn't know, Drew Locke is the current starting quarterback of the Denver Broncos. The reason I'm talking about him is the fact that I wouldn't be all too surprised if you hadn't heard about him. Which is sad because Drew Locke is actually a really good quarterback that I have recently noticed because I was I didn't hear about him a lot last season either. I didn't watch a whole ton of the Broncos games. I only watched really two of them, which were more early in the season while Drew Locke was on injured reserve. Um, and he's a solid quarterback. And interestingly enough, a part of me sees things in him that we all saw in Brady's early days, in Peyton Manning's early days. No, I'm not trying to go out and say that Locke is the next Brady, but the similarities are insanely coincidental if they don't say anything about Locke's NFL future. He, he did some very impressive things last season that I'm going to talk about here, but first I'm going to talk about who Locke is as a quarterback. Locke began his career in high school. As a junior at Lee's Summit High School deep in Missouri, he passed for an impressive 3,060 yards and 35 touchdowns. The following year, his numbers dropped down to 2,731 passing yards and 28 total passing touchdowns. Ironically, though, he was awarded the Kansas City Stars All-Metro Player of the Year Award for his senior season, not his junior season. Um, and Locke was actually recognized as a four-star recruit fresh out of high school and even a two-star shooting guard recruit for his high school basketball career. But obviously, he ultimately decided to stick with football, a choice I doubt that he regrets Grandy's in the NFL today. Locke had a successful freshman year after committing to the University of Minnesota, I'll call him uh, UM. Uh, uh, he came off the bench for two series in their season opener, throwing for 138 yards and a touchdown, and later that year, he would ultimately become the starting quarterback for the final eight games of the season. This awarded him the title of the first true freshman to start at MU since 1995. Locke finished his freshman season with 1,332 yards and four touchdowns. The following season, Locke truly made a name for himself. He finished the 2016 regular season ranked number one in the SEC in passing yards while finishing second in the SEC in passing yards per game and per completion. He simultaneously posted top 20 marks in each of the categories as well, even ranking 10th nationally with 3,399 passing yards total. Ultimately, in 2016, Drew made his case for the strongest single season performance of a quarterback in MU history. In the 2017 season, he only got better. Locke led the NCAA and set the SEC Missouri and Missouri record for passing touchdowns with 44, along with leading the Tigers to a bowl game after starting the season with an abysmal 1-5 record. He finished the season with 3,964 yards and 4 touchdowns to just 13 picks. On top of this, he was also selected to first-team All-SEC. In his senior season, Locke had another productive year. He put up 3,498 yards with 28 touchdowns to just 8 interceptions. Headed into the NFL, Locke fell out of the first round of the draft, all the way to the 42nd pick of the second round. Quarterbacks Dwayne Haskins, Daniel Jones, and Kyler Murray were chosen before him. The Broncos had high hopes for Locke out of training camp, but Locke was injured in the preseason and placed on injury reserve until mid-November. On the 30th, the Broncos activated Locke and named him the starter for a game against the L.A. Chargers the very next day, just about five weeks before the season would come to a close. He threw for 134 yards, two touchdowns, and one pick, en route to a last-second game-winning field goal, off a drive led by Locke, mind you, to best the Chargers 23-20, winning his first NFL start. And this is only where the fun began. The very next week against the Houston Texans, a playoff team that made it into the divisional round, a game where the Texans were favored by nine points, Locke threw for three touchdowns in the first half alone, along with a scoring drive right out of the gate to start the second half, setting up the Broncos with a 38-3 lead early in the third quarter. The Broncos would finish the game with a 38-24 victory, while Locke put up over 300 yards and three touchdowns in just his second NFL start. The unknown quarterback out of Missouri would end off the season with a 4-1 quarterback record, tying John Elway's franchise record for most wins by a rookie quarterback. The thing is, though, is that it took Elway 10 games to do it. Locke only needed 5. 
He finished the season with a 64.1 completion percentage, 1,020 yards, 7 touchdowns, and 3 picks over the course of 5 games. And just to remind you, the only game Drew Locke lost last year was against the Super Bowl champion Chiefs. What's just as surprising to me as his performance last season is how quiet the NFL seems to be about it. Locke showed last season that he could compete against strong playoff teams, and quite honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Locke in the playoffs in 2020. Drew Locke is clearly a strong quarterback, and again, he's only played a handful of games in the NFL, but he played extremely well for a second-round rookie quarterback. Locke is easily my dark horse quarterback going into 2020, and it's not just his statistical feats either, but his level of leadership as well. It's clear that the locker room sees, sees him as their leader. If you don't believe me, believe Broncos legend and Hall of Famer Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis joined the Jim Rome show just over two months ago to discuss Drew Locke and the Broncos' new offense. According to Rome, many of the current Broncos players are fired up about Locke and believe that he could be the guy. When Davis was asked about this, he shared his thoughts on how Drew Locke is affecting the Broncos team. Davis said, When you talk about a special player and they say he has the it factor, it's not just on the field. It's how that person affects other people around him. And it's contagious. When you have a player that just has that, call it swag, Call it whatever you want to call it. It's that person that people are going to follow. They gravitate towards Drew Locke. He's found a way in that locker room that speaks, that everyone speaks like he is the dude. They love his confidence. They love his competitiveness. They like that he's involved and that he's engaged with the teammates. And his on-the-field play is there. So, like I said, if you don't believe me, believe Terrell Davis. Believe the players that are looking for a quarterback to lead the Broncos country back to the Super Bowl. If you do believe it, I guarantee you you won't be disappointed. I predicted the Broncos to not make the playoffs just over a month ago. And after looking more into their new quarterback, Drew Locke. Now granted, he only played five games, so I'm, I don't blame myself too much for not knowing too much about Drew Locke. But after researching this kid... And looking at who he is and what he did last year, to be 100% honest with you, I would not be too surprised if Drew Locke made a playoff run with the Broncos. I'm not saying they're a Super Bowl contender, but what I am saying is they added Jerry Jerry Judy, a great wide receiver threat out of college. I wouldn't be all too surprised if the Broncos make the playoffs next year with the 6th or 7th seed. I could very well see it with Drew Locke.